analysis on what was said. Political analyst Ongama Mtinka joins us live. So Ongama, uh, Ace Mahashule was very nonchalant about his appearance before the Integrity Committee on Saturday. In fact, Pule Mabe actually came in to say that he volunteered. But the message we got from the president earlier in the week about the seriousness of how the ANC acts against corruption was much stronger than what we heard today naturally. It was so... But the, the broad, I think my sense, uh, uh, Shahan, is that it's subdued. Whatever the message of the, this NEC reflects a subdued uh, meeting in terms of which whatever differences were there and the extent of the battles while the issues were being discussed uh, were there was kind of subdued in the messaging about, about it. Even if even the, the president on Monday actually did talk very firmly about uh, firmly against corruption, but in terms of activities or what is a task list arising from that meeting, it gave the impression of a subdued meeting uh, where there's uh, some counterbalancing of uh, whatever the expectations were in the period leading to the meeting. Yeah, and of course, Ace Mahashule also talking about the Integrity Committee and how they're basically doing their jobs and well at that. So it doesn't seem on the surface that he is prepared for battle, but he is going to argue against him stepping down, of course, given what he said in public. Absolutely. So he must be seen to be tagging along and playing along uh, with the process. In fact, what I suspect happened here is that... Uh, once this option of an integrity commission was raised, whether it came uh, voluntarily from Ace Mahashule or uh, as a compromise resolution from uh, what we understood to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe kind of uh, uh, debate, the, what's it, well, what its intention is, is on the part of Ace Mahashule is to kill it, obviously at the Integrity Commission by raising issues like, for example, innocent until proven guilty and, the, and perhaps uh, highlight some of the ways in which cases against people were asked uh, to resign kind of delayed mm. until they, those people were brought, brought back. But for President Sir Ramaphosa's camp, I think they want to have a sense of a, a things building up to things. So a lower structure sits and engages on this and makes a recommendation. And then the process takes its course from a, from a, from a structural point of view so that there isn't a perception that they as a camp pushed too hard to actually act against him. By the way, that was my pre my, that would be, that's what I would have recommended because I feel that there's a, there's a trade off for nursing what otherwise is a split organization. Yeah. And that trade-off is time to rebuild early enough so that in elections subsequent to 2021 and 2024, uh, whoever gets to remain with the brand ANC, it builds on a sustainable platform. But here, you can't rebuild. By the, neither of the camps can build uh, um, with, with people whom they think are aligned to their, you know, whatever the objectives, political objectives they have, because yeah. they still must deal with the fact that uh, there may be a, a game theoretic response from another camp, which weakens whatever it is that they are trying to do. All right. Thank you for your insight. Appreciate it. Ongama Mtinka, a political analyst joining us there.